Welcome to Send My Ad Standard. This video will help you get set up so you can start receiving ads. Let's log in with our username and password. That will take you to the wizard, which will step you through the requirements to start receiving ads. First thing you'll want to do is add a publication or two. So let's click the add a publication link here. Just supply some basic information in this form the name, uh, a short code, and the trim size. Clicking Save will create the publication for you. You'll see that there are tabs across the top. There are two halves of the screen. On the left half, it's mostly basic information. So we can change the cover. This will help advertisers find and recognize your title when they're sending an ad or viewing ad specification sizes. You'll immediately see that um, in the information pane of this window. You can fill out other basic information here. Again, this is just uh, to help users uh, understand and learn more about your title. On the left, we have a very important section called the Publication Preparation Checklist. It tells us we have some tasks to do before we're able to receive ads with this title. We're going to come back to this in our Step 2 video. Let's take a look at some of the other options here. When you register for Send My Ad, you supply a mailing address, and if you wish to provide additional addresses where a user might need to send a proof to, maybe each title might have a different location, you can add those here and assign the correct one. It's possible to disable all uploads to this publication based on an issue deadline. We'll talk more about that in the next video as well. You can also temporarily disable advertisers from uploading to this issue if you like. Finally, let's configure our notifications. Send My Ad will notify users based on events happening to ads in this publication, and you can choose where those notifications go to. The default materials contact is the user first created for your account. We also can create additional users and groups back at the main menu. And here we can choose which of those users and groups are to receive the various types of event notifications, uploads, rejections, ads being approved and ready for download. As you can see, we still have a few issues left to deal with in order to complete this publication's configuration. We'll return to that as the subject of our next video. Thank you.